Good morning, students. Here is the continuation. Today's our topic is division algorithm for polynomials. In nine, you have already learned how to divide one polynomial by another polynomial. That is, p of x divided by g of x. When we divide p of x by g of x, we will get one quotient that is q of x, and we will get one remainder that is r of x. Here, p of x is the dividend. G of x is the divisor. Q of x is the quotient, and r of x is the remainder. We know that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. That is, p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x, where r of x is equal to zero or degree of r of x less than degree of g of x. R of x equal to zero or degree of r of x less than degree of g of x. What is the importance of this statement? We'll see. That means if we divide a polynomial p of x by a linear polynomial, that means degree one, then we will get the remainder. The remainder may be zero or its degree is less than one. Less than one means degree zero. That is called constant. Polynomial. That means, if we divide a polynomial by linear polynomial, remainder can be either a zero polynomial or a constant polynomial. Similarly, if we divide the polynomial by a quadratic polynomial, then the remainder can be zero or constant or linear. Similarly. If we divide a polynomial by cubic, the remainder can be zero, or a constant polynomial, or a linear polynomial, or a quadratic polynomial. Now we are going to state what is division algorithm for polynomials. If p of x and g of x are any two polynomials with g of x not equal to zero, then we can find two polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x, where r of x is equal to zero or degree of r of x less than degree of g of x. What are the important things to remember while doing the division of polynomials? Here we can see the polynomial p of x is equal to 4x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 7. g of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square. Here in p of x, the terms, the power of the variables are in descending order, while g of x, it is not in descending order. First of all, we have to arrange the terms in descending order. So we have to change g of x is equal to x square plus x plus 1. That is the first thing. Second thing is that when we divide p of x by g of x and we will find the remainder, when the degree of r of x, if it is less than degree of g of x, that moment we have to stop the division. Okay, question number one, find the quotient and the remainder. Also check whether g of x is a factor of p of x. So to get the first term of the quotient, what you have to do here, the first term is 2x raised to 4. Here the first term of the divisor that is x square. When we divide 2x raised to 4 divided by x square, we get 
x square that is 2x square is the first term of the quotient now after getting the first term now we'll multiply 2x square by x square minus 2 so it becomes 2x square into x square that is 2x raised to 4 2x square into minus 2 that is minus 4x square now usually what we will do we will change the sign so it becomes minus it becomes plus so these two times will cancel out minus 3x cube plus x square plus 6x minus 2 now again here the highest degree time is minus 3x cube divided by x square so it becomes minus 3x minus 3x into x square minus 3x cube minus 3x into minus 2 plus 6x plus minus remaining x square minus 2 now the highest degree time is x square here also x square x square by x square that is 1 1 into x square minus 2 that is x square minus 2 when we change the sign remainder is 0 so here the quotient is 2x square minus 3x plus 1 remainder is 0 also we can say here the remainder is 0 so g of x is a factor of p of x here the question number 2 p of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 divided by another polynomial g of x the quotient and the remainders are x minus 2 and minus 2x plus 4 find g of x this is a very important question for 10 class students here we know that g of x into q of x plus r of x is equal to p of x this is division algorithm here the question is to find g of x so first of all we will transpose r of x to that side so we get g of x into q of x is equal to p of x minus r of x or g of x is equal to p of x minus r of x upon q of x this is the very important formula for finding g of x so g of x is equal to p of x that is x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 minus r of x r of x is minus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 so when we open the bracket here it becomes x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 plus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2 so x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2x so it becomes plus 3x plus 2 minus 4 it becomes minus 2 divided by x minus 2 now we have to divide x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 by x minus 2 x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 here also the same to get the first time x cube divided by x that is x square now x square multiplied by x minus 2 it becomes x cube minus 2x square and we change the sign minus plus minus x square plus 3x minus 2 so highest degree is minus x square upon x that is minus x minus x into x minus x square minus x into minus 2 plus 2x plus minus x minus 2 again x upon x that is 1 1 into x minus 2 that is x minus 2 so the remainder is 0 so g of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1 that means out of four polynomials p of x g of x q of x and r of x if three polynomials are given then easily we can find out the fourth polynomial thank you